Should pastors seek resolution when friends leave the church or people leave the church? And if, if so, how? I, I would say, I would hope that any pastor that has people leaving or has people who have left would be able to point back and say that he pursued them, that he was reaching out to them, that he has experiences that he can list where he was reaching out and attempting to meet with them. And in meeting with them, he was patiently listening. He was humbling himself to hear. He was asking good questions, not reacting, uh, pursuing forgiveness where it might be met necessary. So I would, I would hope that that would be a starting place. And then in, in the present, I would hope that, that that pastor would also have a heart disposition that is just wide open to reconciliation if that's necessary, or I think the question talked about resolution, you know, any kind of resolution that he would be wide open to that. In other words, that he, he's continuing to tenderize his heart with the gospel as it relates to that person, so that he's in a position, if should any doors open, he can move because his heart is already there. His heart has already expressed or pursued forgiveness. So I, I think there is a sense where each and every pastor should be leading and loving in a way where as far as it's possible for them, as it says in Romans 12, you know, they should be at peace with, with all people. But, but there is a sense where I think the question recognizes that that's not always possible. And you don't have to pastor long before you realize that there are going to be situations that just seem to remain unresolved. And there's, n there's no apparent lack of closure. Um, I mean, I can think of just not all that long ago, uh, sending out different texts to different people to wish them Happy Easter on Easter morning, and uh, and I got a text. I sent a text to somebody who had left the church, who I knew was very disappointed with me and disappointed with my leadership. And I had sought to reach out to them and meet with them, and so I sent them a text anyway. And they they sent me back a text and basically said, "Hey, don't text me anymore. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want this to be a you know t this to be a thing." And. Uh, and I, and I wrote back, just said, hey, you know, should it ever become a thing where you'd ever want to hear from me? I'd love to hear from you if you feel like I've, you know, sinned against you. But, but those, you have those kind of situations where it's open-ended, it's unresolved, there's no resolution. And so I, I think a pastor has to prepare himself for the reality that while he wants to do everything possible to live at peace, and while he wants to be able to walk people to the door if they're leaving in a way where they're gonna kiss him goodbye or kiss the church goodbye, there are these situations that don't seem to be resolved. And I think for that, for that pastor, I, I would want to, to ensure that he is understanding God and the gospel in such a way that he can live wanting resolution but not needing resolution. In other words, he's not dependent upon resolving some situation with any particular person in order to live at peace with God and in order to live at, at peace in his home with his, his, his spouse if he's married and just to be able to, to serve the church, to be able to not wake up in the middle, middle of the night and be tormented by the fact that this one area of his life doesn't have some kind of closure or isn't all buttoned up. So I, I think that to pursue ministry is to pursue a, a kind of life where things are gonna remain very open-ended at times. And uh, a pastor's going to learn by the grace of God to live that way and to lead that way without it driving him nuts.